Without the early morning starts required by breakfast television, today Piers Morgan at least had the chance to do the school run. <laughs> but not before delivering a defence of himself in front of the assembled cameras. It's all about freedom of speech, he said. Uh, if people want to believe Meghan Markle, that's entirely their right. I don't believe almost anything that comes out of her mouth. And I think the damage she's done to the British monarchy and to the Queen at a time when Prince Philip is lying in hospital is enormous and frankly contemptible. Live from Television Centre in London, this is Good Morning. Meanwhile, his co-host on Good Morning Britain, Susanna Reid, who had disagreed with what Morgan had said about the Duchess of Sussex, began today's show with this. Now, Piers and I have disagreed on many things, and that dynamic was one of the things that viewers loved about the programme. He is, without doubt, an outspoken, challenging, opinionated, disruptive broadcaster. So were you thinking of harming yourself? Were you having suicidal thoughts? Yes, this was very, very clear. It's now emerged that the Duchess of Sussex formally complained to ITV on Monday, expressing her concern over how Piers Morgan's words might affect the issue of mental health and its impact on others who might be contemplating suicide. This is a two-hour trash-a-thon. The day after Meghan's interview with Oprah Winfrey, Morgan told his audience he hadn't believed a word of what she'd said. The next day, he left the studio following a confrontation with weather presenter Alex Beresford. Within hours came the announcement he'd also left ITV. A media consultant who worked at the broadcasting regulator Ofcom says a complaint from Meghan would have escalated the situation. She's the person affected. It's a first party complaint. So as soon as the person who is the subject of the story complains, it takes it to another level. Piers Morgan clearly still has his fans, and though he may have walked away from ITV, there is still the matter of the 41,000 complaints about him, which Ofcom is still investigating. Nina Nanar, ITV News.